Hey y'all, this is Yogi Jazz. I hope you enjoy this cinematic yoga experience as I share my mental, physical, and spiritual practices with you. Today's practice was filmed in Central America in the small town of El Tunco, El Salvador. So during my stay in El Salvador, I actually got to spend some intimate time in the local communities working with a nonprofit organization that provides water filters in the home for clean drinking water. Now before the trip, I was struggling with like feelings of discontentment, comparison in certain areas of my life. But one thing is for sure, exposure to the full spectrum of life has a very special way of bringing balance and clarity. Throughout my journey of becoming more conscious of myself and my experiences, I've noticed that anytime I'm in need of support on a soul level, the perfect experience to do just that is always around the corner. I've gained a huge shift in my perspective from this experience, and I've absolutely deepened my gratitude practice since. Today's yoga practice is inspired by the power of gratitude. What are you grateful for? Let's begin by lengthening the spine in Vajrasana. We'll establish Ujjayi as our breath practice, in through the nose, constricting the throat to exhale through the nose. It builds heat in the body and requires power to release. We'll come into child's pose, first starting on the forearms, just settling your hips towards the heels of your feet. Take a few breaths here. Go ahead and bring the knees about mat distance apart, extending and lengthening towards your fingertips. Making sure that your wrists are in alignment with your shoulders. Take another inhale here. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're coming into tabletop. Hips stacked over the knees, shoulders over the wrist. Gonna rotate the eyes of the elbows forward, pressing into the palms. Extend the right heel and the left fingertips. Deep inhale here. On the exhale, bring your knee to your elbow, navel to your spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Bring your heel and your thumb up just an inch higher. Contract. Inhale, extend, lengthen through that right shoulder and hold. Put a bend in the right knee, reach around the left side of the body, press the top of the foot into the palm, open up the shoulders. And release. This time extending the left heel, foot is flexed, lengthen through the right fingertips, deep inhale here. On the exhale, bring the knee to the elbow. Extend on the inhale. Exhale on the contraction. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. This time hold. Bring the thumb and the heel up. Bend in the left knee. Reach around the right side of the body. Press the left foot into your palm. Lengthen your toes up towards the sky. Hold. and release. Pressing into the palms, lift the hips high towards the sky, coming into downward facing dog. Find a comfortable space between your palms and your toes. Inhale, lift up onto the tips of the toes. Exhale, melt the heels into the mat. Place a slight bend in your knees. Press your chest towards your upper thighs to lengthen through the shoulders and then lengthen through the knees. Holding your posture, slowly walking up towards the top of the mat, feet are hip distance apart, ground down into the heels. Inhale, rise both palms above the head, palms together to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, hop towards the back of your mat. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, high plank. Bringing your toes together to touch, coming onto the outer edge of your right foot, side plank. Extend and lengthen through the left fingertips. Reach down for the left big toe, coming into full extension. Bringing your hips forward, foot towards the top of the mat. Inhale, palms above the head, coming into crescent lunge. Left knee is stacked over the left ankle, deep bend in the hips. Release the palms, step the left foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up onto the tips of the toes. Exhale, melt the heels. Put a bend in the knees. Go ahead and establish those shoulders, pressing your chest towards your upper thighs. Slowly walk towards the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up, palms above the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, hop towards the back of the mat. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Toes together to touch. Rotating onto the outer edge of the left foot. Side plank, extend the right fingertips. Reaching down for the right toe. Coming into full extension. And bring the right foot towards the top of the mat. Ground down into the right heel. Inhale, both palms above the head. Lengthen up. Open up the hips. Really press through the left heel. And release the palms. Step the right foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Untuck the toes. Upward facing dog. Send the hips high. Downward facing dog. Pressing into the heels of the feet. Take a deep inhale here. Inhale, lengthen up towards the tips of your toes. Exhale, melt the heels. Slight bend in the knees. Bringing the shoulders to stack over the wrist. Right knee to right elbow. Right knee to left elbow. Right knee to navel. Send your hips back, pressing into your palms. Hop towards the top of your mat. Ground down into your heels. Extending your fingertips towards the top of your mat. Keep that same energy in the shoulders. We're going to come into a 45 degree angle. Utkatasana. Pressing through the left heel. Rising up. Right knee comes into the navel. Palms above the head, reaching and lengthening through the fingertips. Coming into warrior three, slowly extend the right foot behind. Engaging your right glute, interlacing your palms behind your back. Opening up the chest. Slowly stepping the right foot back, preparing for humble warrior. Bring the left knee over the left ankle, widen your stance, lifting your chest. Take a deep inhale here on your exhale, coming forward, humble warrior. Bringing your palms towards your head, deep inhale here. On the exhale, extend and lengthen through your fingertips, warrior two, dropping down just two more inches. Reverse your warrior. And coming into side angle. Left palm to the mat. Lengthen through the right fingertips. Shoulder blades together. Coming in for the bind. Lengthen through the left knee. Bringing the left palm to the mat, extending and lengthen through the right fingertips, triangle pose. Sending the left hip back, release the right fingertips. Slowly coming forward, extending the right foot. 
stack the right hip over the left. Coming in for half moon, extend and lengthen through the right fingertips. Put a bend in the right knee, reaching for the top of the foot. Full extension, pressing the foot into your hand, opening up your shoulder and your chest. Gently release. Pedal it out, walk it out. Move your hips, move your body. Inhale, lengthen up, both palms above the head. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, lengthen up, both palms above the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the palms, hop towards the back of the mat. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Send the hips high, downward facing dog. It's a 90 degree bend in the knees, shifting the shoulders to stack over the wrist. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Left knee to the navel. And step the left foot back. Send the hips over the heels, press into the palms. Hop forward towards the top of the mat. Dropping the hips, extending and lengthening through your fingertips. Coming into 45 degrees, Utkatasana. Drop the hips down just a little bit more. Ground down into the right heel. Lengthen up. Bringing the left knee into the chest. Bringing the chest forward, extending the left heel, warrior three. Interlacing the fingers behind the back, opening up the shoulders, step the left foot back. Create more width in your stance, bring the right knee over the right ankle. Open up, lift the chest, shoulder blades come together and coming forward, humble warrior. Warrior two, right knee over the right ankle. Reverse your warrior, extend and lengthen through the right fingertips. Full side body stretch and side angle. Taking the left hand, behind the back to find the bind. Bringing the left shoulder behind, bringing your gaze to the sky. Lengthen through the right knee, preparing for triangle. Right palm to the mat, left fingers extended. Release the left palm. Extend and lengthen through the left heel, keeping the foot flexed. Stack the left hip over the right. Extend and lengthen through the left fingertips. Put a bend in the left knee, reaching for the top of the foot. Pressing into your palm, full extension and release. Walk it out, move it around. Inhale, both palms above your head. Lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just taking a few grounding breaths here. Returning back to your center. Inhale, both palms above the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, hop towards the back of the mat. Slight bend in the knees, pressing back into downward facing dog. Stepping up to the halfway mark on your mat, preparing for Kakasana. Gonna put a deep bend in the knees, bringing the knees to stack on the backs of your arms. Locking in with your fingertips, slowly send your weight forward, bring the heels up. Engage your core, sending the toes back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Slowly lower the knees, cross the ankles, and sit back over the heels, extending the feet into Navasana or high boat. Extend and lengthen through your fingertips. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Bring your shoulder blades together as you bring your chest forward. Holding here. Lower down, low boat. Feet and shoulders four inches away from the mat. Staying active in your breathing in through the nose, constricting the back of the throat through the nose. Inhale, rise. Holding steady. Returning to low boat. And gently release. Find the center of your mat if you slid up to the top like myself. Gonna bring the heels into the mat, preparing for bridge. Place the palms facing down, lift the hips, pressing through the heels of the feet. Interlace the fingers beneath your bottom. To press your hips as high up as you can, activate the glutes, driving through the heels of your feet, and slowly release. One more time, we're gonna bring the hips up, interlace behind the bottom. This time we're gonna come up onto the balls of the toes and step our feet towards the glutes. Take your palms, reach around for the tops of your feet, drive your hips up two more inches towards the sky. And slowly release. Go ahead and extend your feet towards the top of the mat. We're gonna take the right knee into the body, keeping both feet flexed, active stretching. Opening up the hips. And then extend your right foot, place your palms behind your thigh, your calf, or peace fingers to big toes. Pressing through the right heel on your exhale, bring your knee towards your nose. Extending and dropping your right foot out towards the right side of your body. Try and keep your left glute connected to the mat. Put a bend in the right knee. Bring it all the way across for a spinal twist. Take the right fingers and extend all the way out to your right side. Head to follow. Softening your lower spine. Slowly bring that right knee back into your chest. Bring the left knee in in exchange. Flexing the feet, opening up the hip. Extend the left heel up towards the sky. Reach behind the thigh of the calf or go for the big toe if you're feeling open. Make sure you're finding length in the left knee. Bring the knee towards your nose. Extend the left heel all the way out. Keep the right glute connected to the mat. Press the right shoulder into the mat. Deep breathing here. Put a bend in the left knee, bring it across the right hip, spinal twist. Extend the left fingertips out. You can use your right palm to press the left knee towards the mat, soften the spine. Slowly bring that left knee back in. Bring the right knee in to meet. Wrap your arms around yourself. Find that place of gratitude. Thankful for yourself for showing up on your mat. Extend your body coming into Shavasana. 
take a deep, expansive inhale here. And sigh something out through your mouth. Gonna start by softening and releasing your toes and the heels of your feet. Releasing from your ankles to your knees, and then from your knees to your hips. Let your next inhale fill and expand only your belly, and as softly and as slowly as you can, Sigh out through your mouth. Relax your fingers and your shoulders. Allow your shoulders to melt towards the earth. Soften your heart space. Release any tension in your jaws and between your eyebrows. Take another deep, expansive inhale here. Fill your ribs and your lungs to capacity. Hold for three counts at the top. And slowly release. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Come back to your body. When you're ready, come up into a seated position. Take a deep inhale, bring both palms above your head, palms together to touch. Thumbs to your third eye as we ask for more expansion in our consciousness and our own intuition. Thumbs to the lips as we ask for more compassion and authenticity and truth when we speak. Thumbs to the heart space as we ask for more unconditional love for ourselves and those around us. Namaste. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. I hope you feel powerful. I hope you ride that gratitude wave all week long until we practice with you again. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment. Let me know how your practice was. You can also turn on your notifications so that the next time we drop a cinematic yoga experience, you'll be one of the first to know. For future pop-ups and retreats, you can subscribe to my newsletter on my website at www.yogijazzporter.com You can also follow me and connect with me on all social media handles at Yogi Jazz Porter. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you have an amazing week. Send this to two people that you care about. Love you guys. See you next time.